Number three, video of the eye rigging and eye cutter. So, last two videos we drew the eye, we gave them pegs in parts, and then the second video we went through the cutter tool and the color over it. So now we're going to actually go through the drawing substitution. And this is, well, can be used for any drawing really. You can see your drawing substitutions in your library tab. And if I go on my Clara view, I only have two, basically two, on, two options on my file. I either have blank or I have my X. And you must be here. If I show you my entire frame, my entire timeline here, which is 60 frames, if I go back to zero, you'll notice that everything gets deleted. If I come back here and replace it with a one, it all gets cleaned up as you can see. Alright? Put that back in place. Alright, so what we're going to do is, we're going to make the different views for your eyeball. So I'm going to start with some duplication of my eye. When I'm going to do duplication, it's going to actually make a duplication of the previous drawing, which is this round one here, and I'm just going to cut it up a bit so it actually looks like an eyeball So take this up. So I click on my sphere drawing and I'm going to choose not this button, which is the sphere edit drawing. I'm going to choose the duplicate drawing button. So once I click on that, I'm going to actually put it on my side. So I have blank, one, and two. And two is a common place to use blank. So I'm going to go to my drawing tab so I can actually use blank as well. And I'm going to make a view so I can actually see my eye and see my eye coming through. So I start by saying, I'm going to do that cutter tool thing again. Poof. Here we go, some more. Cut that out. And draw again. Color. Black. Don't want this look too much, so I'm gonna erase a bit of this. Right. Fill that back in with Sclera. And I guess we're gonna do two more. So I'm gonna make another duplication. Cut again. I know you're probably getting tired of this. But there we go. Almost there. Delete. Cut that out. We draw it. And the last one is going to be, well, fully closed eyes.
one last duplication back to my layer and cutter tool goes away So, whoops, going back to black. Hmm. <laughs> and I guess we can put, put, put like some LED wrinkles or something. So, going through my library, my substitution, you can see full A. Let's start from here. One, two, three, four, five. Come back. And that looks like a decent thing, right? I'm just going to smooth out some stuff because I don't think these might be satisfactory completely. Smooth, smooth. And you can use your square bracket. To go from back and forth through your drawing substitution bracket but so this is the open bracket which goes back and the the close bracket that goes forward so I have something like that now we can actually do a, a simple animation and because we already did the networking view with the whole sclera and the color overwriting, this is what it could look like. So we start out with a, an eye, and we can start with a blinking, going on my close square bracket. Then I can use my full stop to go forward one frame. You can also use your comma to go backward one frame. Or is it less than and greater than sign? So go forward. See how that works? It actually still con maintains the masking. Because we're still using the sclera color. And I'm just going to go ahead a few. Then we come back. So I'm just going to try and do a, a double blink. And we are done. So you press play. A loop if you want. Looks like that, right? Stop. So if I go to my render view, you won't see all the black stuff here. And of course, your render view always shows a bit slower than your open GL view, which is the gray flower. But you'll notice by default the render view is always black. So you, what you want to do is make sure that if you want, you could put in a color card, which basically allows you to change the background color of your your render view. So you go on plus and choose color card, and by default color card gives you white. So you can change it up, but not. So I'll choose a nice simple blue color. And there we have it. So now you can make your own eye, you can make it blink, and as the previous video showed, you can move your eye around. So we could combine this whole thing here with the blinking and the movement. So I'm going to go to that view. I'm going to hide my color card view, or rather, no, I won't. Let's just have some fun with this. So we start off with a keyframe here. Same thing for this one. So who noticed in the last video that when I was moving my eyeball, my iris was moving kind of weird, where I said, that looks interesting. It was because I selected both my sclera and my iris layer. So that way, 
the transformation and active effects them both at the same time. So while the scara moves one direction, the iris moves incrementally in the same direction. This is what I mean. So I move this over here, my axis is going to go that way. But if I have them selected one at a time, then they go one at a time. Then let's show your control point. So it shows you every single frame with those bits. Move and So you have that. And we could just render it. And this will be your result. If you enjoyed that tutorial, and hope it was uh, helpful, I'm just going to ask you to leave your comments. Keep it clean, because I'll delete anything that's gross, of course. Um, ask for help. Um, I'm always willing to help as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching. Take care. God bless.